Hello everyone, this is Miguel from Esporanjo Madrid and today I came to the outdoors of Madrid. I'm actually at Calle, I forgot the name so I better read it out loud. It's Castillo de Malpica which is in Villafranca del Castillo, all right? This is, as you can see of course, outside of Madrid city center. It's at about maybe 20-25 minutes in a bus, all right? And by car, it, I would say it's actually five, 15 minutes from Moncloa or 20 minutes, which is actually the way I came. Right, so as you can see, this is a beautiful, beautiful house uh, with a huge back backyard and of course the front yard. And there are four rooms available. Well, there are actually four rooms to rent in, in this uh, beautiful house, but only two rooms are available right now, which are of course the ones that I'm gonna show you. All right, uh, I forgot to say that this is of course very close to even though it's a, it's outside of the city so if you have to go to Madrid you have to of course take the bus every day but if you actually come to uh, the University of Camilo Jose Sela it's only at about 15 minutes walking from here so this will be the perfect place if you come to that university so uh, well I better show you around all right so let's get started so that's of course the main entrance and then well check that check it out guys this is the beautiful, beautiful house and I'm just gonna step inside so I can show you. All right, so I'm gonna tell you details in the, in the along the way. You know what? Yeah, I've, I've showed you the rooms first and then the backyard. So this is the main door, of course. So let's step in. And then, well, the landlady lives in here and um, she has, of course, her own room. And well, this is the entrance hall and then the rooms that are available are actually up there. So this is the, like I said, the entrance hall. That's the living room that actually you are not going to be able to use it at least as often as you would like. Because of course the landlady wants to keep that living room for her. But just for you to know, there's the living room. Here's also a little dining room. And then that door right there is the kitchen. Alright, but I'll go upstairs first to show you the bedrooms. So as you can see, it's a huge house, more than 300 square meters. All right, so as you come up uh, upstairs, that's the landlady's bedroom. That's one of the other bedrooms that I told you that is not available at the moment. As soon as we're able to come and, and do it, then we'll do it. But then this corner right here is where the rooms are. All right, so, well, you have a nice corner here with a lot of sunlight. That door right there is the bathroom, and then these are both of the bedrooms, all right? So uh, let's get started with bedroom number one. So as you can see, it's actually a really, really nice bedroom with plenty of natural light coming in from pretty much all sides of it. From here, from the door, from that wall, and then there's a little balcony there that you will share with, the, with bedroom number two. And well, we'll step outside as well. In a minute but in the meantime well this is the bedroom as you can see it has a single bed it does have a nightstand there it also has a TV and a sound system there all right and then well if you open this up it becomes a desk actually the current uh, tenant this is still here so I'm not gonna go around most of his stuff but as you can see there's plenty of storage space on that uh, built-in closet unit as well so uh, again, I won't open it. I'll show you the other one that, that that's empty. But let me give you another view of bedroom number one from this corner. Really nice, and I really love those palm trees right there. So even though you are inside, then you get to see some green inside, which is really great. All right. And then well, this is the terrace, but we'll step outside from the other bedroom. All right. Let me move to this corner to give you a better look. All right, so bedroom number two is right next door and it's very similar to it. It has the same structure of the built-in closet unit. It also has a single bed. It has a couch here and another one there. It even has a bigger desk, which is great. It has a nightstand there, an extra chair, a bookshelf there, and then another window there and the terrace. All right, there's another bookshelf there and then, well, like I said, the desk. Really, really nice, definitely very cozy. I definitely love the natural light. 
All right, and check this out, guys. These are really fancy doorknobs. Check them out. These are like little angels playing some drums or something. <laughs> All right, so this is the actual wardrobe, of course. Same structure as the other one. As you can see, there's a tube there for the hangers and plenty of space down here and also up there. All right. Now I'm going to move to this corner to show you another view. Really nice bedroom. Vale. And let's step outside to the balcony. So, like I said, it's shared with bedroom number one, which is that door right there, but it's kind of private because if there's nobody there, then you have this terrace for your own. And you have beautiful views here, definitely. It's actually has a really good size with some chairs and everything. Really, really nice. They're just covered right now because it's it's not a time to be outside it's kind of cold but of course you have this space available all right and then that's just the neighbors and another view from this corner all right so now let's go to the uh, bed uh, bathroom sorry which is right here again of course this bathroom as well is to be shared between both bedrooms and it's actually a pretty good sized uh, bathroom of course it has the bidet, the toilet the shower here with the tub and then a uh, double sink two sinks in here and then of course a huge mirror and then you have even views from the bathroom really really nice all right and now let's go downstairs so i can show you the kitchen that of course is fully equipped like i said the landlady lives here so is definitely full, uh, fully equipped so I'm gonna just show you around all right so just go through the stairs I love the decoration on this place this is like the Japanese corner really nice and then the living room like I said it's not for you to use but just check it out <laughs> really nice all right let's go to the kitchen and voila here we are of course the kitchen has to be huge as the rest of the house and I'm not gonna go through all the cabinets and all that because there's too much stuff, of course. But you can definitely see here that it's fully equipped, all right? The gas stove, um, the oven, of course the sink, a microwave oven right there. And then uh, some of the kitchen wooden seals there, even a juice maker, a coffee maker. And then um, well, you have this dining table here, which is the one that you should use for eating in here, not the dining room on by the entrance. All right, and then on this little corner is like the laundry room, and this is where the huge fridge is. Check it out, really big from there to here. And then the uh, laundry, uh, well, the washing machine as well. All right, so really nice kitchen. And last but not least, we'll give you a view from here first. And last but not least, the backyard. So, of course, it's accessible through here or through the main entrance, but just wanted to step outside from here so you could see it. So, look, check it out, guys. It's just amazing. I imagine myself here having a nice Coke or whatever there and even studying or working. It's really, really nice. Really peaceful and... Well, you even have a little hill there that you can go up and then come down the other way. Really, really nice. All right, then you have this porch right here. And then there's this other porch on the other side. So let me go there so I can show you. Super quiet here. I love it. All right, and then this corner right here is where the porch is. And, well, you can see it has some... Um, some tables in here. This looks like a poker table. I don't know what it is, but it's covered. Like I said, it's because of the weather right now. And then you have kind of like a living room in here. And then you actually access the living room from here. And that's the main entrance that I showed you at the beginning. All right. So that will be it, guys. Again, you just saw this beautiful house with two amazing bedrooms. As soon as we're able to do the rest, we'll do them. But in the meantime, this is what we have. Like I said, only 20-25 minutes from the main center and a 15-minute walk from Camilo, uh, the, the university that I forgot the name. 
<laughs> all right but i hope you liked it all right um definitely it's super peaceful a lot of natural light and it's really great so thank you for watching bye